Avalon Guitars uh, started initially in 1988 and we formed it as the Loudon Guitar Company and uh, we grew the business throughout the 80s and 90s uh, into what became a fairly significant international brand. Uh, the one weakness I suppose in our uh, business model was that uh, we were constrained by production limited to Northern Ireland. And we were also constrained by a design licensing agreement that meant that the staff who had grown and developed with the company weren't able to make a contribution to the design development of the products we made. So we took a decision to change all of that and in 2001 we changed our name to Avalon Guitars. And uh, from then on we have grown slightly differently in, in the sense that our guitar designs have been um, uh, more creative, more innovative, uh, looking at uh, more trends, recent trends, modern trends in the guitar business uh, to bring to market uh, guitars that are interesting, that people want to play, that look good and sound amazing. So that's essentially where we're at today. In between times we also dabbled a little bit with outsourced manufacturing and uh, We've, we've had experience of that as well in the recent past. Well, the future looks very rosy in the sense that uh, we have um, uh, been able to see uh, demand increase from uh, the US and Europe, primarily because the, uh, the change in the value in sterling in the last six months has made our product uh, a lot more competitive than it was just a few years ago. So that's a good sign. It allows us then to really uh, spearhead our product development into areas that um, we believe no other acoustic guitar manufacturer has gone. For example, uh, we'll be the first acoustic guitar maker in the world to produce a double barreled guitar. And if you're not a guitar player, I'm sorry that won't mean anything to you, uh, but if you are a guitar player, the comfort factor in having a bevel here where your arm rests over the soundboard and a bevel here where it rests against your chest uh, will appeal to um, a lot of guitar players for whom comfort is, is, a, is a big issue when they're playing guitar. So that's a first, it reflects the innovation and quality with which we go about our guitar making and uh, that along with uh, gradually developing our distribution and also reintroducing our uh, outsourced son of Avalon range in the future. Um, I think all augurs well for uh, Avalon guitars. As an entrepreneur there's uh, always an idea that seems to germinate in your mind that develops into something you have to do something about. That's coupled with brand development and market development and Usually the places you go to to get the thing off the ground and, and bring it to market are uh, traditionally your bank or in the case of uh, Northern Ireland, uh, the Invest NI or Ledger as it was before. But very often you find that uh, the one thing that would stifle a great idea is bureaucracy. And it can be very frustrating. And therefore I think small business can just cut through all the bureaucracy and all the red tape because you get the opportunity to talk to real entrepreneurs about their experience, 